Welcome to ScriptLogic's Security Explorer, updating service account passwords and the accounts themselves. I just brought up a server that is running Security Explorer version 8, which is the most current version of Security Explorer. Here We're here today to demonstrate how to update passwords on service accounts and the service accounts themselves. You'll notice there are many management targets within Security Explorer, but we're going to simply browse to the service security. The first thing I would do is go to the Search tab, and I would set up a search scope. In this case, I've kept my search scope pretty wide. I placed it at my entire domain level. I could have certainly placed it at an organizational unit level, or individual servers, or individual clients in that fact. I could add a criteria to it, or I can add multiple search scopes to it if I chose to. The second thing I would do is select the field to search. In this case, I can choose a service name, a description, a logon account, a current state, a startup mode, interactive or executable. And many people ask me, how do many organizations use Security Explorer for service account management? Well, there are usually currently two scenarios. Log on accounts. Maybe you have an admin who's no longer with the organization, and that admin wasn't exactly a great person at during their employment. Maybe I would want to search to see if this rogue admin had services running any place within the infrastructure using his credentials. Okay, that's one scenario. A second scenario would also be, well, we have multiple service log on accounts that we want to be able to reset passwords on because many of these logon accounts have very high credentials. And that's the example we're going to use. Logon account contains. I can browse to a specific account or I can just simply enter a value. Now I'm starting the search. And you'll notice it's pinging all four of my machines within my infrastructure. Small infrastructure, only four machines. Now it's coming up with all the services running under the credentials of NBEL. I can see they've taken a member server, a domain controller, a SharePoint server. All of these servers have services running under the NBEL account. But the first thing I would want to do is I might want to highlight all of these services at one time. Now that I've highlighted them, the first thing I can do is simply bring up the properties for that change the logon. Now I would change the logon credentials from NBEL to an alternate account. After that, we would restart the services after making the changes so those current services would take on all the credentials of the new logon account. And that's one thing to be able to do. Well, commonly, a second thing we'd be able to do is also bring up the logon account itself and change the password for that logon account. Maybe this is a domain administrator account that's running all these services, and the password has to be changed for this account every 30, 60, 90 days, whatever your corporate infrastructure has in place. I would take the account right here, and I would set the password right here. We would set the password for this account in Active Directory, and then also change all related service logon account passwords at the same time. Maybe you needed to generate a random password, and you would be able to do that from this specific console. Security Explorer for service security management, available to be downloaded from scriptlogic.com. You can also call sales at scriptlogic.com, send an email to them, or call 1-800-813-6415. Thanks for your time today on this training session.